everyone, welcome to Gosport Railways. My name is James, and today we're doing a video on the railways of Gosport. And as you can see, um, we are at Perm Station to begin our journey. But um, I'll do a quick, uh, brief, uh, well, summary of what we'll be doing today. Uh, it's basically going around all the stations and seeing what they used to look like, because uh, unfortunately, none of them actually exist anymore as railway stations, apart from Firm, as you can see here even though today it doesn't even look like this either. Um, so one thing which I would like to suggest is um, if anybody is interested in the railways of Gosport, I would actually suggest picking up this book, which is titled The Railways of Gosport. Uh, made by, it's, uh, the author is Kevin Robertson, and I think it's probably the best book about uh, the subject, really, which is no, Gosport Rail, The Railways of Gosport. And uh, as you can see here, it does have a rough map of all the railways in the area. And um, yeah, it is something which I would pick up. Well, which I already have picked up. It has uh, diagrams of all the um, smaller lines and stuff like that. And also track plan. Uh, well, not track plans, the. Uh, trying to find out where they are. Has plans of the actual stations as well throughout time so uh, that's Fort Brockhurst let me just find there um, because it does have yep there we go and here is a view of Fairham when it first was built well first was built then as it changed throughout the years and actually it's fairly long as it's a fairly long junction station but um, yes I would pick up this book if you're interested in the subject Anyway, let's get on with the tour of the area. And uh, I am using the uh, train simulator program. And this is the builder mode, so I can actually show you it uh, without having to worry about uh, driving a steam locomotive or anything like that. So here is Ferrum, and onwards towards that way is Gosport. But we'll skip going that way for now, and we'll actually start at Gosport, just so that um, I can start talking a bit. Uh, sooner. Um, <laughs> so we'll just, just uh, not zoom in here, but uh, jump over here and then wait for everything to render. Where is it? Uh, there we go. So here we are in Gosport. And just over the water, that is Portsmouth. And I think that's the victory. Maybe not, I see that might be the way. I'm not entirely sure. So why is it is actually over here? But uh, anyway, here is the uh, term. I think this is the uh, fuel terminal from Gosport. So if we travel up here a little bit, we get to the Royal Victoria Station, which is where Queen Victoria used to get off from the train, and then board a ship all the way to the Isle of Wight, which isn't in this uh, scenario. And over here is the Clarence Pier, which is nice little uh, let me just have a quick look at what it used to look like in the book because that is also useful trying to find the right page it might be also be useful as well um, <laughs> but uh, yeah this is I can never find the right pages <laughs> I sort of planned that beforehand. Now, yeah, Clarence Yard. Yeah, it doesn't really have much of it. Let me go to uh, the Victoria Station part, as it is all attached. So let me just oops, remember the key. keys as well. If I zoom out a bit, it does not allow me to move a bit faster. Anyway, that's uh, the Clarence yard that basically serviced ships in the area uh, well we're pulling up to Gosport and here we come up to Gosport station itself this is the final look of it before it uh, got changed over the years I think this is the this looks like the rebuilt no it's not rebuilt this is the original uh, platform uh, canopy we go over here and it's quite nice underneath here it's got three tracks, one of them leading all the way through, one of them, uh, it's also the run-round loop, and the second platform is actually the goods platform. 
and over here is all the goods yard. It is meant to be a um, goods shed going over here, but uh, it's not in the simulation. And uh, yeah, and coming up here, ooh, bit of a lag. Coming up here, you come up to the small two road entrance shed, and it is actually a photograph which is uh, pictured from this uh, foot bridge, showing a. Uh, LSWR A12 going down towards Gosport, basically in this very picture, in the, basically from this angle, really. So, well, uh, yeah, it's quite nice. That's the footbridge it would have been. And then we zoom out a little bit in, and we come up to Stokes Bay, the uh, Triangle Junction. So, that way towards Gosport, which is immediately after, that way towards Fairham and this way towards Stokes Bay. And right after the junction, you get Gosport Road Station, which doesn't exist anymore. Uh, I think that was shut down before 1950s, something like that. And uh, yeah, the only thing which exists anymore is I think the bridge maybe, and also the uh, station pub. And uh, yeah, that's the only thing left. And just zoom out, just so we can get a bit of speed, because uh, if you go Unfortunately, with uh, Train Simulator in the editor, if you zoomed right up, you go very slowly, and uh, yeah, it takes forever to get anywhere. Uh, there's a little uh, side junction, I don't know what it's called, let me have a quick look. Yeah, it's got right up there. Yeah, it's just a ballast siding or something like that. Not really all that important. Then we come up to Hasler Hospital, is meant to be around here somewhere. It does have its own railway, unfortunately it's not in the uh, scenario, but uh, hopefully it will be at some point. And we come up to Stokes Bay itself, which is a platform on a pier. Let's see, Stokes Bay. And uh, unfortunately this got uh, removed about 1930s or something like that, because, uh, yeah, it, uh, I think, even... No, it didn't burn down, it exploded actually, or something exploded on it. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that exploded, and uh, yeah, but they just basically had enough of it, and uh, uh, just don't lost it. Let me see, that's the pretty time of one, we're coming up to that bit soon. Um, I'm still trying to find the right page, while also trying to get us to the next spot. So we'll just zoom back up the line again, try to do multitasking. Still on Leon Silent bit, which we'll get to later. Let me know when we get to the. Oh, wait, there we are. So, yeah, unfortunately, yes, we do have to crab our way up. Uh, this I originally thought was a platform, but no, it's just a platform for uh, some warehouses and stuff like that. So, no, that's not a proper one. So, sort of way up the line, and we get to Port Rockhurst which, despite its name, is not actually near Fort Buckhurst. Uh, it's not there, there it is. Because uh, Fort Buckhurst is actually that fort. This is uh, one of the Palmerston forts, uh, built in the 19th century, if I remember right. That is Fort Rauner. It's actually meant to be much bigger than this. It's actually got, I uh, don't know what that one, that might be Fort, uh, not Fort Elson, maybe. One of them. But yeah, it's meant to be uh, much more bigger than this, uh, more hills, because it's meant to be a as it's 19th century, so it's meant to be built to defend against uh, cannon fire. So it's uh, a, I don't want to say hill fort or anything like that, because that's much older and stuff like that. Um, but uh, it looks much more different than that. I'll probably put up a picture. And uh, here's the military siding which services that fort. And uh, yeah, here is two ways. Uh, it's basically a free platform station. It's because uh, uh, it serves the, is the main branch line to Gosport and Fairham, and then it leads off to the uh, Leon Solent branch line, which we'll go off to in a minute. And uh, yeah, the little terriers used to run up and down this line. And um, yeah, the station, the station building is still there. Uh, but, well, the house is still there. The platforms are still there, but the rest of it's gone. That is it. Uh, if I had enough money, I'd actually buy the place and then make it back into a railway station again. Anyway, 
off towards Leon Salent. I'm trying to remember the first uh, station on the route. I think it is Gamer uh, Gamer Gamer Holt. There it is. And uh, yeah, this is actually uh, Hatesmith Sultan now. I think it's Hatesmith Sultan. Possibly Hatesmith Sultan. And um, yeah, it's now a big military base. So a lot different from what it is. Uh, back then. Uh, this is brown down, I know this one's brown down, because it's right next to the brown downs. And um, yeah, brown down is a, another military, uh, it's basically where they test guns and explosives. So it is actually meant to be, um, during this time, there would be a uh, narrow gauge uh, track on the brown down to handle uh, moving ammunition, moving equipment and stuff like that. And then we get to the last halt before we get to the station, which is Elmore Halt. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, this is a little halt on the beach. Uh, unfortunately, this is the build mode, so you still have uh, the artifacts of um, when you're building and editing stuff. Unfortunately, I can't move all of the stuff. I tried to. And then we come up to the last station on the line, which is Lee on the Solent Station. And uh, this building, I don't know if that was it there during the time, but uh, this building is still here. Unfortunately, it is built up differently now, and it is actually a arcade of sobs or amusement arcade, something like that. And uh, yeah, it, it's like the building still exists, but the platform definitely does not, unless it's been buried and covered up by a uh, car park, which wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, let's go back to Fort Booker. So we're not going to go up the line again because that will just take too long. So zoom in and wait for... Oh wait, it won't, it won't take too long for it to render. Anyway, let me try and go back. Right, let's go further up the line again and let me try and find the right page in here again. There we go. Right. <laughs> Now we're coming up to the Bednam Pretty's Hard Railway, which also services uh, the uh, Fratton as well. Not Fratton. Freighter, sorry. Fratton's the other place, which is over towards Portsmouth. Freighter, uh, which is a Royal Navy Armament Depot freighter, which is here, which also accompanies uh, Brown Down, not Brown Down, Bednam, sorry, I keep saying. Too many things, it's a bit too close together. It's the Bednam Pretty's Hard Railway, which uh, junks it off the uh, main line here. And yeah, freighter, uh, as it is today, this is the road which leads up to it. This is uh, um, this wood. And today, this is Aerodrome Road, and freighter entrance is over here. And unfortunately, it's not really built up much in the simulation, so uh, I can't say too much. But um, yeah, this is basically an armament, uh, armament depot. So uh, I think also in World War II, there was also an airfield. I think it is also an airfield now. I do have to double check. But um, yeah, this is just ammo dumps, stuff like that, and also a pier which uh, services the ammo dump. So they would have fireless engines around uh, this area because uh, you don't want anything which makes too many sparks, like um, steam engines, uh, do service things which can blow up, really. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And if you follow along the other line, I really, I really wish they made this a lot easier to move around here. It's a crabbing everywhere. Uh, quickly we get to Elson, uh, this is built up nowadays, this is the Elson estate and uh, this is the Elson um, pier thing. Um, <laughs> what is it called? Uh, Elson depot really. There would probably be more ammo dumps around in this area. Uh, according to the map which I've got on here, and let me just make sure you can see, uh, actually, I'll change to a full camera, then you can actually see a bit better. Uh, 
this is what it would actually look like. Unfortunately, the um, uh, the simulation doesn't actually have everything, but uh, oh, well, it's a decent enough simulation consume that uh, you don't get everything. You know, consume otherwise you won't get it. Um, let's leave lane. I really have to find that other picture. Ah, there it is. No, I just went past it. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the game and then I can talk about the book some more. And um, let's quickly just. Ooh, what am I doing? Have I crashed it? Yes, I have. <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, there we go. Right, yeah, as we continue on this way, you get to Pretty's Hard, which is actually right by uh, Gosport. So, yeah, Pretty's Hard is over here, and that's actually a, another small uh, depot area with uh, some more virus engines. Like I said, it does look much different to what it is in the simulation, and um, so I'm not going to bother with that. Go back to here. Right, where are we? Um, we want to go this way. Right, so where are we? Do we do? Uh, my house is around here. And then we continue our way up to Fair really, and that's all about it. And uh, yeah, this is um, about. Six miles or somewhere, or four, no, maybe less than that. It's actually four miles, really. I keep thinking it's longer, but um, yeah, the route from Fairham to Gosport is about four miles, and uh, most of it is now a bus route for the Eclipse line, which um, I don't really use. It doesn't actually stop by my house, despite the fact that the route goes straight past it. And um, what have I done here? I've clicked something, haven't I? Um, oh well, nothing important. But uh, yeah, that is the route itself, and it is represented most in its, not in its entirety, but majority of it is. Oh, there's the picture I wanted. Uh, that's most of it in Train Simulator, which is the Hamster Lines uh, Steam Era. Who it is a Steam Workshop. Um, no route for people to play on. Uh, let me just switch back to full, full camera. Uh, this is the Royal Clarence, uh, Clarence uh, that way around. That's what it would look like uh, in its full entirety. And uh, that's, ooh, I'm trying to hold this with one hand, that's where we started off uh, down in Gosport. And I said, there's the Royal Pier, uh, Royal Victoria Station. That's the pier which we looked at beforehand, and I think this was removed um, probably later on, which is why it's not in the simulation. So, um, yeah, I said this was a very nice book and has been very useful for me trying to work out how to build certain things on my layout. As you can see, my ooh, that's my, uh, my um, station building, no, my main station building is based off. Uh, parts of Gosport so it's been quite useful for me so um yeah let's have a quick look at Gosport again well that's why we're having a look here then wait for everyone to render <laughs> quite scary when you get uh, get up close to a bunch of trees and they'll just seem like flat boxes like this but, uh, yeah, that's the uh, train no, train lines around my area, and um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, none of them exist anymore. And unfortunately, that's how things are after beating. So uh, yeah, oh well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of uh, my area. Um, I do. I wouldn't mind making this a series, just going around the uh, routes of uh, Hampshire, basically once it's 
may still be there, may not be there, and just seeing what's changed. I would like to um, uh, go to these places in person, but uh, currently with you know, current situation is probably not recommended. So um, yeah, anyway, I said still recommend this book if you want to learn more. Um, if you're in the local area, I would say you no, know, visit these places if, when possible, just so you can see what um, the rallies we could have had if uh, Beeching didn't have his way. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, probably turn off all this lot now. Um, <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you again next time. And do let me know if you want to see more videos like this where I see, you know, look at um, the railways which used to be like, no, which uh, in Hampshire in general or just a bit more in depth of each station uh, along the Gosport line. Um, no, I will be doing more videos on uh, the uh, Hampshire lines, uh, no, just train simulator. Uh, scenario as well at some point. I'm trying to make my own scenarios as well, but um, that will come in time. Anyway, like I said, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think and give me suggestions as well. And if you liked the videos, feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, if not, hope you enjoy your day and I hope to see everyone again next time. I should really stop saying that. Anyway, take care now. Bye.